So let us see how we can actually set up SBT on Windows. You can just say SBT install or download and click on here. There should be MSI. You can see here MSI. Let us uh, install SBT 0.13.16 version. So I'm clicking on this. Again, the version is chosen uh, in line with the Scala and Spark, which we are going to explore. Okay, depending upon the version you require as part of your project or as part uh, as part of what you are trying to learn, you have to download uh, the appropriate work one. So the download is done. I am installing now. Next, I accept. Next, next, install. Yes. So now the SBT is installed. I am exiting from the command prompt and launching the command prompt again and checking if the SBT is there. Yeah. So you can see it is downloading certain things for the first time. First time it will take time when you launch SBT. You can see it is downloading a bunch of the items. And also I would like to test with Sigwin. So I'm closing the existing Sigwin versions. So predominantly I'll be using Sigwin whenever I demonstrate on Windows. That's why I will make sure that these things work on Sigwin also. Okay, so Sigwin is also launched and then SBT. You can see that it is doing something. So command prompt it all it is already it have already launched so we are good to go so it is working in command prompt and also it is working in sigwin okay that being said now we can actually set up the directory structure and um, uh, and and take care of our project even on windows uh, the same way i have demonstrated um, on my mac only thing is uh, you might have to use sigwin or command prompt or some other editor to create the files okay 